one, two, check, one, two, check, one, two, check. So it's good, one, two, check. One, two, that's nice, that's good. Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's
Good morning. On behalf of the University of Reading, we are welcoming you to Great Hall. Before we start the ceremony, I have a few short announcements. If you are in possession of a mobile phone, please switch it off and make it silent now to ensure that it remains off or silent for the duration of the ceremony. And then, like the event that we need to evacuate the Great Hall, will you please note that there is an exit to the front of the hall on the left hand side and both sides of the field. The assembly point is in the white gate car park, which is a large car park. The marshals are located in the land of Great Hall and we are the hands of the Red Administration. Due to the assistance of our ceremony, please attract your attention to the graduating marshal who should be able to help. When we stand at the stage, please walk up to the tech club, sorry, please walk up to the top of the steps, the silver line and the top of the hand. Remember to wait there for a moment while you're pushing for a track of the stick. At the end of the ceremony, please make your way to the shuttle bus. Taking from white light candles to have a post standing celebration of the take place. Finally, please do remember to clap, celebrate each other's achievements throughout the ceremony. Thank you. Graduates and guests, will you please stand for the session? Ladies and gentlemen, please sit down. And welcome to this congregation for the conferment of degrees. I am Paul Lindley, the Chancellor of this university and the presiding officer of this congregation. Now that's the first time that I've actually uh, said those words because it wasn't true when I woke up this morning. I was installed as your Chancellor about two hours ago. So it's a pretty big gig for me as well as the students today, so let's see if we nail it. Graduates, your degree will be officially and formally confirmed on you at this ceremony, which will be split into four processions, coming up a group at a time. Each graduate will be summoned by name by the university orator to come up to this platform and stand in front of me and this mace and receive your degree. Acting under the authority vested in me by the university, I will doff my cap by the mace here and formally confer your award. We'll then have a chance to turn to the camera to have a, a picture to keep. You will then, as a graduate of the University of Reading, descend the platform to rapturous applause, collect your certificate on my right, and then return to your seat. The one exception to this will be our postgraduate research students. 
who will be in instead invited in turn to take a seat on the stage here to recognise that they have achieved the same academic qualification as those seated behind me. So that's kind of housekeeping. The congregation is steeped in university history here and tradition. We've all got very heavy robes, which I'm just thankful we weren't here yesterday. I think these robes were first designed about 200 years ago when the world was uh, a little bit cooler. Uh, we've got our formal processions, we've got doffing, a new word to me, all symbols of your achievement, graduates, and uh, memories that we can keep from today. But above all, it's a joyous occasion where we celebrate the achievements of those processing and let's show our appreciation and pride for each and every one of them when they come up. Let's really make a noise so that people joining us on the live stream can hear and please on the live stream join us with your loud applause too. People we're honouring today have worked so hard to be here. That, I think, is the opening, so we'll move forward with the formal part. By the authority of the Council and of the Senate of the University of Reading, this congregation has been summoned for the conferment of degrees. Chancellor, for the first time, Chancellor, <laughs> candidates will now be presented for their degrees. Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Doctor of Philosophy has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of this university. Sam Aspinall. <laughs> Charlotte Day. Marlene Wilde. Congratulations. Chancellor, I present to you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Pharmacy has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Pharmacy of this university. Pharmacy. Elijah Abasi. <laughs> Mohammed Abdul Amir. Dr. 
Tolu Lope Chioma Adikoya. Congratulations. Tade Jopilo Adishokan. Naomi Agby. Fight and Ahmad. Tanisha Ahmad. Maria Ajaz. Abdullah Nabil Hussein Al Chalabi. Mohammed Abdulnab Nabi Ali. Omid Ali Mogadan. Sika Amponsa Kagiad. Tasneen Niha Amran. Bara Anum. Arub Arshad. Lamil Amy Ayi. Theodora Mildred Asan Saki. Nikita Bupendra Kumar. Lucy Bissell. Danita Awarewa Boama. Lorcan John Braheni. Sarah Claffey. Sarah DeHarsh. <laughs> Namra Din. <laughs> Alexander Doyle. Thank you. 
Amina Albiik. Gloria Ihuoma Amaribi. Chelsea Jane Fern. Shilpa George. Maria Gerkis. And Somaya Gopri Krishna. Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Pharmacy has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Pharmacy of this university. Pharmacy, Sara Haj Mohammed. Lucy Heal. <laughs> Walid Hindi. <laughs> Arzu Fatima Hussein. Sakina Hussein. <laughs> Mohammed Hussain. <laughs> Malik Ali Dawao Jabril. Panis Café. <laughs> Manail Khan. <laughs> Martab 
Katibi. Fatima Yazuma Makama. Aoife McNamara. Madison Louise Mifsud. Lara Mirza. Fathima Amra Mohideen. My doctor, Mosman Torogi. Rima Naji. Dalia Nasser. Abdurrahman Naya. Jonathan Hao Jin Ung. Alicia Novaka. Joyce Odeon. Ibu Kunalua, Nicole Oluteo. Ting Juan Ong. Oria Oriaki. Ioana Papareclius. Antonish Fishius. Molly Anna Afua Homa. <laughs> Alini Constantina Peru.
Chancellor. I present to you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Pharmacy has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Pharmacy of this university. Pharmacy. Wen Xuan Hua. Adam Saffer. Sarah Salir. Sarah Sarfraz. Christina Saridu. <laughs> Lerbat Salmani. <laughs> Alana Sodatnarine. Kinza Shah. <laughs> Leah Sharji. <laughs> Reem Shalhu. Kieran Sharma. <laughs> Simran Sharma. Mahisha Shiva Kumaran. <laughs> Hainal Ramesh Siyani. <laughs> Madingi Shrithran. Eleni Stylianu. <laughs> Elaine Shumin Tan. <laughs> Jessica Hui Lin Tan. Ching Tang. Could Z Locadia Taruwonga? And Zayn Olabdin.
Chancellor. I present to you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Pharmacy has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Pharmacy of this university. Pharmacy. David Vincent Waterson. Vasiliki Vervili. Kelsey Fionn Williams. Cal Vin Wong. Ching Yu Yong. Pharmacy with Foundation. Mahesh Maman. Chancellor, I present you this candidate to whom the postgraduate diploma is to be awarded. I award to you the postgraduate diploma from this university. Foundation Pharmacy Practice, Emma Veronica Green. Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom a postgraduate certificate is to be awarded. I award to each of you the postgraduate certificate of this university. Independent and supplementary prescribing for nurses, Noel Foreen. Consuelo Tomas Pino. <laughs> Independent and supplementary prescribing for pharmacists. Ponita Adams. Rajpal Singh Bara. Grace Birch. Hannah Ruth Brownsell. Emily Patricia Crowley. Jasdeep Singh Gore. Arksha Hawk. <laughs> Faraz Ali Khan. <laughs> Alicia Kotaria.
Jill Mearwood. <laughs> Rima Haida Abdulatef Musa. Samia Palakar. <laughs> Amy Elizabeth Phillip. <laughs> Helen Rashmikant Shah. Robin Thine. <laughs> Chancellor, I present you these candidates for their qualification of this university. Yanru <laughs> Lee. And Hasma Azimi. Chancellor, it has been agreed that the remaining candidates be admitted in absence. I admit each of these candidates to the relevant qualification of this university. The Reading University Students' Union, RUSU Excellence Award Scheme, is organised each year by the Students' Union to recognise those staff who has most enriched the learning experience of their students. I am delighted to say that the Rusu Excellence Award winner for Teaching Excellence in the School of Chemistry, Food and Pharmacy joins us on the platform today and I invite Professor Sakthival Vayapuri to come forward to receive their award. Chancellor, Dr. Darius Madero will now present Sally Bromley for the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters. We now welcome Sally Bromley to the platform. My learned Chancellor, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Sally Bromley to you today. Sally was a student at Bormischer College from 1966, which became the Bormischer Court Campus of the University of Reading in 1989, where she trained as a primary school teacher specializing in music. After a long career as a primary and secondary level teacher in West London and across Oxfordshire, she was diagnosed with Parkinson's a decade ago and has since dedicated herself to working with and supporting other people with the disorder. Parkinson's disease is a progressive disorder that affects nerve cells deep in the brain responsible for planning and controlling body movement as well as certain cognitive functions. Around 145,000 people live with Parkinson's in the UK. Importantly, it is the fastest growing neurological condition in the world. Shortly after her diagnosis and retirement in um, 2011, 
Sally has joined the Oxford branch of Parkinson's UK and soon took on the position of chair. She has been a volunteer for many research studies and also serves as an expert patient tutor for final year medical students. Sally has a national profile in the Parkinson's community, working tirelessly to support others with the disorders and to raise the profile of the research into Parkinson's, including a skydive to raise funds for Parkinson's UK. Sally has worked hard to raise awareness of this, of this chronic degenerative condition through holding concerts, a patient center conference, and fundraising events, as well as speaking at conferences about living with this condition. Over more than five years, Sally has worked with the Reading School of Pharmacy to help educate and inform pharmacy students about the experience of living with Parkinson's. Her talks at the university are consistently ranked as outstanding session by our pharmacy students and also members of staff. In addition to this, in 2017, Sally collaborated with academics at the Reading School of Pharmacy on a series of activities to mark the 200th anniversary of the first description of the Parkinson's disease in 1870. This included exhibitions and talk at the Bodleian Library and the Oxford Museum of National History, as well as a conference for people affected by Parkinson's, which was held in Oxford and attended by over 200 people. Those efforts have been recognized by the University of Reading with the award of a Research and Engagement Prize in the INFORM category. In recognition of her role supporting medical studies and helping other people with Parkinson's, she was awarded a honorary master's degree from the Open University. Earlier this year, she was awarded an honorary Doctor of Science degree from the Oxford Brookes University for her outstanding contribution to both the field of education and to research into Parkinson's. Given her direct links to the university as a graduate and someone who works closely with the University of Reading both for reaching and research, I can think of no better recipient of this honor. My Lord and Chancellor, I present Sally Bromley for the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters of this university. By the authority of the University of Reading, I admit you to the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters of this university. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Chancellors Emeritus. Vice-Chancellor, university members, honoured guests, and most importantly, fellow graduates of this university. Now, as I said at the beginning, this was also my first graduation ceremony at this university. And I can't express how hugely privileged and honoured I feel to take on those duties as your Chancellor. I have to pinch myself to say those words, I can hardly believe it. See, ultimately, I'm just a kid from Sheffield who feels quite ordinary. My parents didn't go to university. My great-great-grandparents couldn't even read or write. In my head, I'm still 25 years old. So this role could, be, could seem quite daunting for someone like me. But you and you all around me have given me confidence. So thank you for showing the faith and trust in me in asking me to act as the honorary head of this great institution. Now, thankfully, I am very lucky to have two predecessors here in this great hall, Sir John Majewski and Lord Waldegrave, who are two of the most committed, thoughtful and generous people that I've had the pleasure to meet. Sir John, your steady leadership and vision has transformed people's lives in this town through your support of education, of sport and the arts. That service for the public leaves huge footprints for, for which people like me can find our way in navigating our public service. 
I had the privilege of receiving an honorary degree from you almost a decade ago in this very room. Indeed, I also re remember almost coming away from the lunch afterwards, not only as the owner of a shiny new degree certificate, but also of a hotel in the Galapagos Islands, which you nearly succeeded in selling me right there and there. <laughs> You've been an inspiration to me and many others as an innovator in business and as a community champion. And Lord Waldegrove, I am humbled to be following in your immediate footsteps as Chancellor. As a politician and a leader, you have shown great industry and integrity, acting as a steward for British science, for education, and for, for finance, and of how government should operate. To me, you epitomise public service and its responsibility. I've seen this firsthand ever since you were my MP when I was an undergraduate back in my days at university. And I've followed your career ever since, and I've learned what it means to be led by a sense of duty, and how to follow your conscience and be guided by your values to do what is right. I'm so grateful for such mentorship, and I hope to do you proud as I step into just one of your pairs of shoes in taking this role forward. But I'm spoilt for role models today. The really inspirational people are all those high-achieving, smart, optimistic young people sitting at the back of this room. Because a university is no more than a group of people, is it? And it is you, all of us in this room, the graduates, the students, the staff and officers, that make this university what it is. And just look around, you are in great company. My own career as an entrepreneur has been helped so much by working with students and academics from across the university, particularly in the School of Chemistry, Food and Pharmacy, which is represented by many of you here today. But I've also seen how you, as a university more broadly, apply yourselves to tackle challenges facing the world and society today in science, as well as in the arts, humanities and social sciences. You may cover many subjects, but what binds you together is a shared sense of discovery, a joy of learning, and of wanting to do something today that will improve the lives of other people tomorrow, and that is so inspiring. Now, you students may be graduating from Reading today, but please don't think you are leaving the university. You will be part of the University of Reading for the rest of your lives. Not only by staying connected through our alumni association, but also as ambassadors for the values and experiences that you have shared and brought in your time here. You have already left your handprint. And as well as looking forward, it is understandable today to look back too. It is a wonderful moment to reflect on where we have come from and to say thank you to those who have helped us get where we are. Graduation is, I think, in a way, a rite of passage into adulthood. It is so for you, but also for all of those who have supported you throughout your life. But I would implore you to hold on to some of your childhood. Don't leave it as you leave and walk out these doors and look forward. Nurture that childlike sense of imagination, of free thinking, of curiosity and self-confidence that has got you so far, for it will get you much, much further. Children are my heroes. I believe that by focusing on children is the best way to build a secure future for everyone. After all, isn't that the point of all of this? All your hard work over the last few years, this ceremony, and the months and years ahead as you forge your lives, is it not that you can leave your handprint to know you have been something, part of something bigger than just you, to help nudge the world into a better place for children yet to come? So, 
as you leave this great hall and this great university and continue on your own journey, do remember to keep alive that spirit of youth that saw you through your school years and your student days. Use it to question everything, to keep a sense of playfulness in your lives, to stop you from conforming just for the sake of conforming, and to keep you uniquely you. For both you and me, today is a landmark day in our lives. Let's go out and make the most of it and have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. <laughs> Graduates and guests, I would ask you please to rise as I declare this degree set congregation closed.